I read this book recently called Prometheus Rising by Robert Anton Wilson, and uh, it is a book that I read kind of disjointedly over the last few months, and having recently come back home, I re remembered the book, and I thought, you know, I'm almost done with it, so I kind of went back to it and finished the last um, hundred or so pages over um, the last few days. And for those who are unfamiliar with Robert Anton Wilson, um, I'm also not very familiar with him, but um, the, what I, from what I understand, he was a, um, a novelist, you know, a essayist, uh, a thinker of sorts who uh, tried throughout his life to uh, help people um, see the world in a different way, in a different light, uh, to perhaps inspire people to be more engaged in their, in the multitude of ways of thinking about the world. And in this book in particular, he what he does is he mostly discusses uh, his own kind of interpretation and uh, his own kind of understanding of Timothy Leary's Eighth Circuit Model of Consciousness. Now, uh, if that sounds kind of complicated, um, when I first read this book, I had no idea what it was about. I, you know, I was familiar with Tim Leary from his scholarly work uh, as a, he was an ex-Harvard professor who was one of the people in the forefront of research with regard to, with regards to um, psychedelics, um, specifically LSD, in the you know forties, fifties, sixties, uh, and he has come into the public cultural um, sphere. He's kind of a controversial figure to some degree, but you know, eight circle model of uh, eight circuit model of consciousness is what he kind of just goes through, and you know. Um, so there's the oral bio-survival circuit, the anal-emotional territorial circuit, the time-binding semantic circuit, the dialectic, wait, no, sorry, the moral, social, sexual circuit, the um, holistic neurosomatic circuit, the collective neurogenetic circuit, uh, the metaprogramming circuit, and the non-local quantum circuit. And all of this sounds... If it sounds like lots of um, mumbo jumbo, I can completely understand it. Uh, and often, when while reading the book, I was also very skeptical of just you know, to some degree, it seems like someone who the person who wrote it seemed kind of it seemed very out there to some degree. But you know, if you let yourself be open minded to it, to the ideas that it presents, it really is quite astonishing to read and it has definitely helped me to some extent uh, open up what the book kind of calls real your my own reality tunnels and uh, the idea of the reality tunnel is that each of us individually uh, based on a combination of our DNA of our upbringing of the education systems we go through, we have, we kind of were um, put into uh, the cultural, social environments that we are, that we exist in, and of course our relationships with our family, all of these different external influences um, map out our own individual reality tunnels, which is to some degree how we experience the world, how we see the world, how we make sense of the things around us is to some is what um robert anton wilson calls this kind of reality tunnel and what a lot of the book tries to make um, the reader understand is that each of our reality tunnels are extremely distinct from one another and it is often very difficult for us to really kind of understand that how we experience the world is not the same as how everyone else experiences the world and often lots of our disagreements with each other, lots of our um, uh, problems with society and with our relationships with people around us come from this very strong misunderstanding of how, um, how we experience the world and throughout the book, 
Uh, so the book is so there's many um, kind of questions, uh, many um, uh, as, as it goes through the different circuits of um, consciousness, as well as other topics in the in the book. And all, every chapter ends with a bunch of exercises uh, that help that will help, that will help the reader. Um, fully grasp what he is trying to say in terms of more actionable um, things. For example, um, uh, on the very first chapter, or one of the first, uh, let's see, let's see, the very first chapter of the book, um, let's see, an example of one of the exercises is uh, visualize a quarter, a quarter vividly, and imagine vividly that you are going to find the quarter on the street, then look for the quarter every time you take a walk. Meanwhile, continuing to visualize it, see how long it takes you to find the quarter. I think so. The thing this 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 point in particular was about um, this idea that when we when we what, what the thinker thinks the prover proves. It was just one of the many um, adages of the book. What the thinker thinks the prover proves, or and to some degree, what what you want to see, you and you you see. So, uh, in one of the examples, in one of the exercises, it says that you know if you. A way to kind of um, show this is if say you want to look for a quarter, look for a coin. If you make yourself think that you want to find the coin, if you look, at, if you walk around with the intent of finding the coin, you will find the coin more often than if you would just randomly walk around and casually, accidentally see a coin in the ground. And it's these ways in which how our minds, our um, uh, how our like how flexible our minds are in terms of intent and um, perception of what we want to see and how what we actually see and all this stuff all this very very interesting stuff honestly all this stuff is very interesting um it, it discusses a lot of these very freudian ideas of you know our sexual circuits our social sexual circuits and how they're imprinted on the idea of imprinting for example uh, of, of experiences in our lives perhaps that have um imprinted into our essence to some degree maybe our, our, our fabric um there's some things that are imprinted that um we need to kind of have more self-awareness about and in order to overcome uh one of the interesting things uh, about uh, that that is brought up in the book is this idea of rewiring our um uh circuits of consciousness that often happens when people engage in or uh when people engage in recruiting people into cults and they're very, they, there's a he uses the example of Patty Hearst um, uh, often, but this the idea of what happens in a cult or um, not just in a cult setting, but even in religious settings or in the army, what they do is they uh, in cults they will first tear down your walls and make you kind of dependent on them, and then once they tear down your reality tunnels, tear down your um, the things that, that you need to kind of sustain yourself biologically. Uh, they will slowly build them up and make you dependent on them and uh, build your once they your once your reality tunnels are, are torn down they will uh, build it back up with their own reality tunnels and it makes one more susceptible to these kinds of indoctrinations when you are very susceptible through these kinds of um, techniques uh, and a lot of this is very interesting I mean there's one of the chapters is called like how to mind, <laughs> how to mind mind washing and brain programming or how to brainwash friends and robotize people you know these are things are very interesting and the idea of the so the circuits is that it's kind of um there are higher level circuits that need to that he are that is he he says that need to be kind of um overcome or, con or get the level of control over in order to uh master your mind or something to master yourself to master your um um your being and that's a lot of what the book is about the book is about kind of how to master your mind um and to some degree uh, i understand a lot of the level of skepticism that can come towards it which i definitely had going into and even just reading throughout the book but if you open your have an open mind about it you will realize that it's very um thought-provoking and uh definitely worth a read i was in, i very much enjoyed the book and i want to read more i know he has some fiction novels as well and he has another um, books of a similar nature and I do want to read more of them but I highly recommend Robert Anton Wilson Prometheus Rising um, yeah it's, it's a pretty interesting book